Artichokes are really incredible in the spring, but I'll admit it, they're super intimidating and uh, they can be very hard to prepare unless you right now go get a couple couple artichokes from the shop and I'll show you how to prepare them whole, which is super easy and really delicious. So let's do it. Okay, so we'll be cooking a couple whole artichokes today. Um, the first thing, you need a pretty large pot. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be like cast iron or any of that. Um, but what you're gonna need is about enough water to cover half of the artichoke. So for like a typical pretty large artichoke, it'd be like two to three inches of water. And that's what I got in here. And then we're just gonna simply flavor that water. Nothing crazy but flavor it just so it enhances the quality of the artichoke. So I'm actually using olive oil as an aromatic today, so surprise, surprise. We're gonna flavor the water with olive oil. So just a couple, a couple tablespoon of pretty good olive oil in here. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of bay leaves. Because it's not cooking for very long, I'll crack everything so it gives as much flavor as fast as possible. And then we'll do Probably a couple cloves of garlic. All, all in here is good. We'll finish it up with some salt. For the salt, you wanna go pretty saturated, so probably a couple tablespoons of salt for like a couple quarts of water. Okay, that's good. So that is going on over high heat, and we'll bring it up to a boil, and then while it's going on, we'll prepare the artichoke. Preparing the artichokes is super simple. First, you need a couple artichokes. And right now, during the spring, they're like mostly affordable. You can get them for almost a couple dollars each, or at least in California. And I have some purple or like a straight up regular artichoke. I'll just do a couple purple ones today because these are absolutely only possible to find in the spring. And the only tool you need is a serrated knife and a pair of scissors. So firstly, I'll just cut off the very bottom you don't need to remove very much, just a little bit, just a like kind of dirty, nasty bit. And then I'll cut a lemon, and this lemon will just rub it right on this part, just so it doesn't oxidize. You know when people say that, it means uh, it would turn black and pretty gross looking. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. We'll just cut a couple inches, because these bits here are all very pointy and very fibrous, and there's not much to eat here. So we'll trim that off with this right and knife. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I'll take the lemon and rub it just so it doesn't change color. We'll remove the baby leaves from the bottom as they're just simply not edible and they're just kind of in the way. And then, now the pairs of scissors come into play. You don't really, need, this is not necessary, but these all have pretty pointy bits uh, that can hurt you while you eat them. So you just take a scissor and cut those off. And then your artichoke is straight up ready for cooking 35 seconds later. We'll set that aside, do that with the second one, and once our water is up to a boil, we'll cook them. The mixture, the mixture is up to a boil. Now our lovely artichokes are going in. And clearly they're too big to be submerged, but we'll cook them for about 15 minutes, and then in about five, we'll give them a little turn. Also, don't forget, these will be used as aromatics as well. So, just squeeze them in all the way. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> now the juice is on the floor, lemons are going in the pot. Cover it up, and then we'll check it in five, six minutes. Do you have an artichoke story for this? Okay, so I would have to clean like so many artichokes and I didn't wear gloves and it would leave my hands like super dark color uh, and stained and I didn't know but it also like leaves this insane like bitter flavor to and whatever you eat afterwards with your hand will taste that really disgusting um, flavor and I'm not here to promote wearing gloves because gloves are gross and destroy the world um, but I'm just here to say that artichokes will stain your hands and stain your hands not only color in a color but also and uh, flavor forever, for, for a really long time. That's my artichoke story. So do you have an artichoke story? 
Have you ever seen a field of artichokes? Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We'll just give these guys a flip. And then go back for like five more minutes. And I'll show you the way to know when your artichokes are cooked. So the easiest way is you take a little knife and you can poke it through the stems. And if it goes in, like it feels like it's just butter, you know what I mean? So both of them are done, super tender all the way. And I'll just give them a couple minutes for them to chill so they're like, so I can touch them. And then we'll do the, the cutting and then the choking. With a serrated knife again, we'll just cut them right down the middle, all the way through. So importantly now, you're seeing like all this fuzz, right? This fuzz should be removed because it's not edible. So with a spoon, just gonna get it out and it will naturally come with the first leaves on the inside. The first leaves on the inside also are a bit uh, too woody to eat. So we're removing this. You don't have to be like super, super precise. Just like this is good, as long as there's no fuzz. Maybe a little bit more. That's it. And then we'll do the same thing with all of them. Oh, this is the artichoke heart. See, all these beautiful, this right here is the most tender from here to here. And you wanna leave that as much as possible. The hair are starting on the heart. So see this, this kind of like demarcation right here is where the hair start, but also under the hair is the heart, which is the most tender and flavorful part. So remove the hair, but make sure you leave the heart on. I'm gonna do one more thing to it, just because I think it's really good with it. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil and I'm gonna finish, get a little color on the cut side in a nice cast iron pan. So I'm drizzling a little bit of olive oil in here. And then it's just going cut side in a warm pan. And that's gonna go super fast. Artichokes actually have a ton of sugar in them. So they're gonna caramelize really, really quickly. And I just want a nice little golden crust. Golden going on deep, dark golden crust. And then they'll be up to my par. Up to par for me, up to par for me. Up to par. They'll be ready to eat. Look at this. Serve that up with a side of melted butter. A lemon, very important. And some salt. God, look at this. <laughs> this is like, don't underestimate that. This can be a meal. This can be a whole event. This is not just the appetizer. This is not just the teaser. This is the event. Spring calls for this to be dinner. And if you've never eaten, <laughs> I'll do a whole mukbang about it. <laughs> I was kind of joking, but like if you want an artichoke mukbang. You, every single leaf that you pull out, there's all this really nice edible part. The entire like bottom two thirds is edible. And so you pick one leaf at the time and then you finally get to the heart and the heart you can eat like with your hands and dip it in butter and it's so tender. And, and naturally the fibers that are on the outside will sort of like fall away from the heart as you kind of break it down. So it's a very organic and an exciting experience to eat. And I would just suggest you, you really do it. I mean, this is, come on. Is there anything else to say about purple artichokes that I missed. No. Like and subscribe. <laughs>